Welcome to this course announcement video. We are starting a new course on group theory and in this video we will look at the prerequisites and the brief course outline. Before I say anything I want to mention that I already have a course on group theory on this channel but I will be improving on that by replacing those videos with much upgraded versions in almost every aspect video quality, audio quality, handwriting, exposition and most importantly the content. So let me get started with the prerequisites. Uh, of course you would need to know the basics of mathematics, the basic language of mathematics which is sets, functions, relations and the well-ordering principle. All of this is already discussed in a playlist named Kickstart but I do not insist that you go and watch those videos, you can consult your favorite reference. Next, I would assume some knowledge of number theory. If you're familiar and comfortable with these words, that is more than sufficient. I have a course on number theory on this channel, which is oriented towards people who are preparing for Olympiads or doing an undergraduate, under, undergraduate degree in mathematics. Uh, at the same time, I do not insist that you watch my lectures. You can consult your favorite book or references. Uh, the course on number theory that I have is somewhat advanced in the sense that I discuss difficult puzzles there but I do not assume that you are conversant with solving very hard puzzles or anything. All you need to know is what I've written over here. I would certainly assume that you know about congruences. I would maybe do a brief recall but uh, the, the muscle memory to be dealing with congruences should be there. And the more you know in this list the better and I would just leave it at that. The next prerequisite is linear algebra. If you're familiar and comfortable with these words, that is sufficient. I also have a course on linear algebra in this channel. You do not need to know everything that I've discussed in that course, just these words are enough. And again, you don't need necessarily to watch my lectures. Any reference is good. All right, and now with these prerequisites in hand, you can start with my course on group theory. Uh, I would discuss the course outline in the next slide but I want to mention that after this course on group theory there will be a second course on number theory. This is, uh, I mean I have made a first course on number theory in which I have discussed these things but after this group theory course I want to build another course on number theory which will be more advanced and it will borrow from all of these things. So there is this quartet, this particular quartet in which this uh, course on group theory lies. Maybe later this quartet will be extended to a pentet or a sextet etc. Alright, so now let us look at the course content. So one thing that we will do in the first few lectures would be finite fields. In a typical first course on linear algebra and that is also true for my course on linear algebra. We do not discuss finite fields, we only discuss real and complex numbers. But I would start by introducing finite fields and some very interesting puzzles around them so that the importance of these objects is already very clear to us. And then I would start with groups, we will do a motivational lecture as to why the notion even arises, then some examples. And then these are the core concepts that one learns in any first course on group theory and I do not want to go over them one by one this is like the core part of the of the course and then I want to have two separate modules one will be on polyar accounting theory this will be a very nice uh, application to combinatorics and then I also want to do some some mathematics of the Rubik's cube for example how many different configurations does the Rubik's cube have that's a very interesting question and one can approach that using group theory so I'd like to do that. I'm not very sure about this particular module because explaining all these things on a two-dimensional screen is a little difficult. But I'll try my best. I'll see if I have the time and if there is much interest from the audience. Now, this course will primarily be a course on finite groups but I will not shy away from introducing infinite groups to illustrate uh, various examples and various properties. Uh, in general, we should be conversant with everything. We shouldn't restrict ourselves to a particular aspect of mathematics. So even though this course will be mostly about finite groups, we will see some glimpses of very interesting infinite groups also. Uh, one more thing, this course will mostly focus on the number theoretic and combinatorial applications. 
we will not compromise on any algebraic core of the subject. We will do it in full detail and very good generality. But from the application point of view, we will have these two things um, as our as our guiding principles, you could say. All right, I think this is uh, more or less what I wanted to say. Uh, with that, I want to end this video. As usual, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time.